So we have already been learning about rhyming words. We've already been learning about nonfiction writing, right? About nonfiction reading too, right? Yeah. All right. So today I would love to teach you guys about how to read a poem and use the rhyming words at the end of the sentence and the lines to help you predict the next unknown word, okay? Sometimes when an author writes a poem, they use rhyming words. And specifically, authors will use rhyming words at the end of the line, like in Dr. Seuss, right? So maybe if he's ended one line with cap, the next one might say half. So today, we're going to see if we can use rhyming words to help us figure out the unknown word in the next line. Everybody ready? Making waves. I like the beach when a strong wind is blowing, for the wind blows the waves, which keeps growing and growing. Oh, I see blowing and growing. Did you see how I figured out this rhyming word? And I knew the next rhyming word is gonna be right here. Sometimes I wish that the wind would blow faster, but not hard enough to cause a disaster. Mm. If it was my turn, and if I did not know that word, sometimes I wish the wind would blow faster. Okay, so I know this, I know faster. Now I need to try to use, I know that the author is gonna give me a rhyming word, to rhyme, because I see er, and I see er, okay? Ter, her, okay? Even, look, these even have the same stir, stir. I know there's a D, so I can use that. Faster, d, stir, but not hard enough to cause a d, faster, diz, oh, disaster, faster, disaster, and I know a disaster is like when something makes like a bad mess, right? Sometimes I wish the wind would blow faster, but not hard enough to cause a disaster. That makes so much sense to me now. Does that make sense to you as a reader too? Yeah. We want it to blow fast at the beach, but not so fast that we make a disaster, right? Or actually, it's actually your turn now. So I would love for you guys to also, can you can't wait? Thank you, my love. All right, so again, today y'all get to read a poem called Tsunamis. This is such a tricky word, because it starts with a T, and the T is silent. Can everybody say Tsunamis? Tsunamis. Tsunamis are what? Also called tidal waves. Oh, can somebody go ahead and quickly make a prediction? All right, so let's go ahead now. It's your turn to use the strategy I just told you. So where are we looking for those rhyming words, everybody? At the end of the? What? What? The line. The line. Thank you. Because look at this. Look at this. Can everybody look? Watch me. I'm going to correct something that you guys are, are a little confused on. Look right here. This is the end of a line. I know that the end of the sentence has a what? Period. A period or a punctuation. So this is at the end of the sentence, but this is at the end of the line. Does that make sense? End of the line, end of the sentence. Look at the comma. Not the end yet, right? So in a poem, we want to look at the end of the what? Line. line. So now we're gonna go ahead and we're going to read. Everybody help me out, ready? Tsunamis. Also called tidal waves. A tsunami is a series of huge, vicious waves that can cause great destruction when the sea misbehaves. Oh, do you hear it? It kind of like a song. Can we start again? Now remember, we need to have like a short pause. We paused a little too long on that comma, didn't we? Yeah, let's go back and read it again. And I want you to hear the rhyming word. Waves and what is this word? Misbehaves. Is that right? Waves misbehaves. Yeah. Yeah, it does. Cause look, it has that same ending part. Aves, aves. So let's read it again. Ready? Here we go. A tsunami is a series of huge, vicious waves that can cause great destruction when the sea misbehaves. You hear it? It's like a beat. I want you to be able to tell me how did you use this rhyming word to help you figure out this rhyming word. Are you ready? So nobody say this word, okay? When it comes out, we're gonna go like this. Got it? What are we gonna do when we come to this word? And I want you to think, okay? Here we go. They're not caused by wind as other waves are. How these monsters begin is much more. Hmm. Well, Let's think about what we know. Our strategy is, London, if we found a word on the sentence before at the end of the line, we can use that word to help us rhyme and figure out our what? Unknown word. word. Right, so R and, do we 
already see another part of the same word? R and what does it have the same in it? No, it kind of already has like an A-R-R-E. R, do we know, can we sound out the first CBC part? Can you help me sound it out? Biz, biz, so bizarre. Has anybody ever heard that word?